Hey, what's going on everybody? Brett here. We're back. Some more Heroes of the Storm. My YouTube channel, Good Talk Gaming. And today we're doing a brawl. And it's the Industrial District. So it's basically an, an ARAM, all random, all mid type of thing. And we're going to go ahead and get ready. Who knows how long the, the wait's going to be. 71 seconds. Yeah, I probably should have clicked that before I started recording. <laughs> Don't want you guys to have to wait. But we could take a second to look at the brawl info for those of you who perhaps aren't familiar with it. Um, we don't have a lot of time left. I just kind of caught this toward the end. I was thinking of doing some quick matches to try and finish up the special event. Um, I really just need one game's worth of takedowns and a winning game to get the Dahakasaurus skin. Which I'm kind of high on because I'm like, I played Dahaka. I loved him in StarCraft 2. He's a pretty sweet uh, character as far as like comedic relief goes. But I, I want to get him at least before the special event ends. And I'm not exactly sure when it does end. Could probably look that up. I wish there was like a, a date or something. But all we need to do is get that and then we're good. I would love to get to the mount as well. The Cosmic Lion. And I love the Stitches skin as well. Stitches is a character that I play pretty often whenever I feel like playing a tank. Very similar to like Pudge and Dota. Oh, man. But yeah, he just kind of always, to me, he felt like he needed more skins. Alright. So here comes the draft portion. It's important to try and pick things that round out the weaknesses of our team. I'm a team player. I like to, um... I like to play whatever. I can play assassin, I can play support, I can play tank. It's, it's all good to me. Uh, there are definitely certain heroes in this, these types of modes that are kind of OP. And we'll see if we get any of those. And you usually want to take them. Because if you don't take them, your opponents will. That's for sure. Just got to hope that your, your allies are team players as well. Pretty high uh, hero levels on our side. I like Nova here, and I like Chin. I don't, I don't really care for Tracer. I'm not a high enough skilled Tracer player to make it work in an ARAM where there's a lot of spam going on. Garrosh can be our tank. I like having uh, Joanna as well as a tank. She's very good against certain types of enemies because she does have a blind. I think not taking Zarya is a bit of a mistake. Zarya is like top two or three best, best heroes in this mode. But everyone's got to kind of play what they want. Medivh is, is a nice off off healer to white main. And you never know. I mean, maybe that guy's never played um, Zarya before in his life. In which case, I'd much rather him have Medivh ready, if Medivh is a, is a character that he's played often. Alright, let's see. see me coming. So one of the big things in this mode is uh, being able to constantly spam abilities for damage. And advanced cloaking, while a trait that I normally wouldn't take in a quick match, um, I, it's fine. It's never a bad trait, but I'm going to take it now. They've changed Nova a lot over the years, but basically we can stay unmounted and we'll regenerate health as uh, mana, that is, as long as we are in invisible. And we're going to use our clone there to scout. It feels like forever since I've played, so I'm a little rusty. And I am focusing Ural just because she's the easiest target at the moment, and hitting her with snipe is going to allow my uh, passive snipe bonus to build up. But it's definitely not the person I want to be shooting. I'm trying to stay in the mix. I can absorb some of the hits for my allies for sure. A little bit of a late snipe, but not a big deal. We were just trying to secure the kill. The kill is everything. More important than any one person's, you know, stack or whatever. Secure the kill. That was a good toss by Garrosh for sure. Alright, we did Grey Man. He's definitely the squishy DPS target we would love to focus. And you'll see down in the bottom left, that's how much bonus damage we're getting off our snipe. So... We need to hit consecutive snipes, which is kind of hard when all the fights are taking place in the mid. And there's going to be a lot of creeps blocking. 
we throw down our clone just to make it a little bit more confusing for our opponents as to, you know, who's what. Yeah, the, the, the minions are really, like, blocking our shots. We need to try and take a better angle. Very good tosses. They're not playing around it very well. And we've nearly got our fountain back up. And we'll check our stats in a bit. I mean, we're just kind of spamming right now. Our focus is a little weak. But reducing the uh, cooldown and mana cost of our decoy is strong. We want to be able to spam it. Like I've been saying, spamming is kind of king. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That's okay, we're running right to our fountain anyway. Good portal attempt there from the Medivh. If we needed it, it would have been nice. We land our snipe, bring that extra damage, and she's not gonna escape. Really good uh, plays there from the Garrosh. We should tell him so. Get out of here. We tried. If I hadn't been typing, I might have actually got that kill. That's okay. Oh, missed my snipe. We don't want to blob up with everyone else. Because we're really, we're eating a ton of Burel, like, damage for no reason. Advancing on target. He didn't come forward, so we didn't get the kill. We're going to come over here and get these. Good. We're able to give that to White Mane as well. Don't want to be greedy with the Globes. They're a resource that your entire team benefits from. We're sitting at two stacks on our snipe. And we can run back now and get our fountain. It's all about just kind of cycling to the fountain. Take as much abuse as you can, spam as much as you can, but just make sure you have the fountain available to you. We missed our snipe, that sucks, but I think we're still gonna get the kill. Yes. Ooh, almost. Nice, we threaded the needle there. I don't know if you guys can tell. I shot in between a minion and a uh, turret to get that kill. Pretty clutch. I said I'm a little rusty. I haven't I haven't actually like played much of like anything in a while. In terms of, you know, MOBAs anyway. Ooh, we missed. That resets us. That, that feels pretty bad. Um, one in the chamber is something I like. See if we can get us this before they do. Kind of got blocked a bit by our own team, but that's okay. So basically what that does is it gives us a stronger base of attack after we use an ability. And because we're using so many abilities, with our spamminess. Oh god, that was a pretty bad this point. Because we're using so many abilities, we're getting lots of extra bonus damage. And now we'll heal. Make sure we grab that for our allies. And we're gonna grab this one as well. Oh yeah, white man wasn't quite close enough. It's kind of like giving, it's it's usually like equivalent to kind of giving ourselves a whole extra ability's worth of damage. Especially once we have like double pinning shot, we'll be able to cycle. It, it comes out to a lot of damage. Pulse. Yeah, I'm just having a lot of misclicks. Just from being a little rusty. Hopefully it's not too uh, awkward to watch. Land our snipes. Very good ult. Let's 
spinning shot to slow him down in case he thought about chasing us. I'm just gonna grab this. And we'll get triple tap. This is a shot could be cool, could be fun. But I think triple tap on the, on average is gonna get us more kills. Like right now, hopefully. And that was our first death. We were out of position. We just re I just really wanted to use my ult. I d absolutely didn't have to there. And our damage is okay. I mean, we're doing about as well as the best damage dealer on their team. And our Mephisto is really cleaning house with his AoE. Every time he goes in like this, he just does a ton of damage. So let's quickly get back down here. For those of you who aren't aware, there's no healing in the fountain area. So you need to just get down as quickly as possible. There's no, like, going back. There we go. Good job. Good job, everybody. Let's start clone to absorb power damage. We need to focus down these towers. There's no reason to let it live like that. Those things hurt us squishies. Where the pinning shot slow? Dang. What else we got? Second charge, there we go. Don't let him get close enough. Wow, she was mid-move, I didn't realize that. She was able to swipe us back. They're gonna have to block it. Ooh, almost. Oh, can't hit her. When she's got that bubble shield, she heals from all the damage that gets done to her. So she just healed a lot. Uther took that one on the chin, and we'll send our uh, clone down. Yeah, I didn't think there was any way we were getting that. So the the Nova changes, and I'm not gonna say they're recent because in terms of like the game, they're not super recent. But in terms of how I used to play the heck out of Nova, uh, the changes are somewhat recent. Um, you used to be able to spam with her, or Passive here, Precision Sniper, uh, used to be a trait or a talent that you would pick up. So if you didn't want to play like a hyper-accurate Nova build for increased damage, you didn't have to. But now it's kind of like really detrimental to not do that. Ooh, I did not mean to click on the portal. Pretty new mistake there. But yeah, now you have to. There's really no, there's no choice. Your DPS is hurt so badly by choosing to not... Um, play that way. It discourages spamming of snipes, essentially. And our clones do damage, so I mean, we want to use them. Let's see what we can do. There's still a lot of damage. And if Mephisto can get in there and get the cleanup, our snipe, but we ended up kind of standing in the stun. What do we got? What do we got? Let's lower some armor. Alright. Do not stand. There we go. So you can start to see the synergies in our build. We have two pinning shots. Each time we use them, we lower their armor. Um, it has a decreased cooldown. Oh, I love that they made these invulnerable. What a nice change. So we gotta get the heck out of here. Uh... Nope. Nope. Good try, though. Good try from our teammates. Oh, we're good. But I was gonna say, you can see the synergy. Two pinning shots. Reduced cooldown, it lowers armor, it triggers our um, one in the chamber, 
So it empowers our next basic attack because we can spam these out. Our hollow decoys are cheap, so we can use them whenever we need for extra damage or escape um, or scouting. Pretty much the primary use there. And then Snipe has its passive to gain damage. Really want to? We haven't really got to maximum stacks this game, but we're losing damage by you know not having the maximum stacks, but we're also gaining damage because we shoot it every time we got it. He's invulnerable. And he's dead, and if he's not, we're gonna uh, use our triple tap, but we didn't need to. Not sure how good our siege is. Well, I'll put some damage on the tower. We should be able to heal it up before the next fight. The damage that we take. Once again, make sure to scout and damage. Nice. Ooh. Did a nice little juke move there. There we go. We'll just secure the kill. That was definitely not our skill that did that. Just added our damage. That's um Let's get rewind. Rewind is definitely the uh the skill play. As long as we have the mana, which we should thanks to our cloak. Okay, we need to stop hitting her. Just looking for an opportunity to rewind here. Yeah, we can do it right now to try and get this gas up. And we did. So very good. Now if we take this out, we can take out the fountains. This was a change that was honestly like a long time coming. People in this mode would really often snipe out fountains. And we'll join Garrosh here on his fool man. He tossed him, for once, tossed her directly into my snipe, which felt really good. It's not an easy thing to do, so... Ooh, we're getting knocked around, and we're under four. Help me. And he hesitated, and that's gonna let us kill him. I was gonna keep running, but then I saw he kinda like doubted what was going on. And our teammates were able to clean up bot. So this has been a pretty pretty good uh, showcase match. I'm happy to have one. Well, you know, I'm counting my chickens and all that, but it, it looks like a win here. We'll give our teammates the old GG. That was a good game. Should have quite a bit of time before the rest of them come out. He's just going to try and get that ult off with a little bit of damage. Can't blame her. And Mephisto doing the big damage. Uh, we were tied for their Orphea. Not bad. And their Grey Man ended up being a great damage dealer for them as well. But yeah, Mephisto doing, doing a great job. Uh, doing damage of all sorts. He also had really high siege damage. And Garrosh got a lot of good grabs that game. And our, I can't complain about our heal. So just a solid team. All the way around. And hopefully this does not freeze. Because sometimes that ruins... It like crashes and it ruins my ability to get the, the game to count towards the uh, the quest. So I hope that doesn't happen. Just leave. Okay, it gave it to me. Alright, great. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Brett. My channel is Good Talk Gaming. I hope you enjoyed that uh, kind of rusty Nova play. But it was fun. It was a good game, and I'm happy to be on a winning team. It feels like it's been forever. So, guys, have a good day, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.